We are your area news team. Good morning, everyone. This is Justin Mott with your local and area news. On January the 4th at approximately 2.30 p.m., a single vehicle fire occurred on State Highway 87 North near Mount Gillian. According to the Center Fire Department, a Honda passenger car caught fire and a gas tank ruptured and was leaking gas. The Center Fire Department quickly responded and put out the vehicle fire. No probable cause was given as to the original start of the fire. No injuries occurred and the Center Fire Department returned to the station at 4.15 p.m. A juvenile reported as a runaway by the Shelby County Sheriff's Office back in September has been reunited with her family. Shelby County Sheriff Willis Blackwell reports that Monica Marie Carter, age 16, of Joaquin, was detained by Immigration and Custom Officers at the Mexico border in Progreso, Texas, on January the 8th, as she attempted to cross back over into the United States. Carter was transported to the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office Juvenile Detention Center, where she was turned over to family members. In other news, Shelby County tax collector Deborah Riley would like to remind us taxes are due on January the 31st. Hi, uh, we just wanted to let you know that our 2017 taxes are due by January 31st. You can come by our office or you can pay by mail. We do accept those postmarks and for your convenience, we have it available for you to pay online. You can go to certifiedpayments.net. We have a bureau code. It's one, two, four, two, eight, five, seven. Uh, you give us a call. We'll be glad to answer any questions you might have, and we we'll appreciate you. Maggie Casto with the Daughters of the Republic of Texas would like to invite everyone to their upcoming meeting. We're starting 2018 off this year with our meeting Saturday at the Sam Sanford Lodge at 10 o'clock. So, members... Come on out and join us, make plans for the year. And if you have questions about the DRT, come on out and ask them. Hope to see you there. In sports news, here are your basketball schedules and rider land. The Center Rough Riders will have a home game versus the Henderson Lions Friday at 7.30 p.m. In Tigerland, the Tenaha Tigers basketball team will have a home game versus the Woden Eagles this Friday at 6.30 p.m. In the Bears' Den, the Timpson Bears will have a home game next Tuesday versus the St. Augustine Wolves. That's next Tuesday, January the 16th at 7.30 p.m. In the Doghouse, the Garrison Bulldogs will have a home game versus the Hemp Hill Hornets this Friday at 7 p.m. And at Panola College, they will have an away game at 7 p.m. tonight at Jacksonville College. Moving along in your obituaries, 78-year-old Bobby Jean War of Center passed away Saturday the 6th in Houston. Visitation will be held this Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Watson & Sons Funeral Home. Funeral services will take place this Saturday at 1.30 p.m. at the Watson & Sons Chapel. Interment will follow at the Oak Lawn Memorial Park. He is survived by a host of family and friends. 78-year-old Betty Lou Scarborough of Longview passed away on December the 25th in Garrison. Memorial service will take place today at 11 a.m. at the Arlem Baptist Church in Garrison. Interment will follow at the Gum Springs Cemetery in Longview, Texas at a later date. Weather, current temperature around 57. And this has been Justin Mott with your local and area news. For more information on news, sports, and events, visit our website at cbc-radio.com. Or check us out on Facebook at Center Broadcasting Company on Facebook. CBC-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.